Hey, Joe, what are the uh, concerns right now in the defensive secondary, especially with uh, with J-Mac and Wayne Jones back there? Um, it's just being able to execute our things and just being able to apply our rules and principles. We're, we're, we're going to try some, some guys in some new spots um, to try to get guys in better positions to make plays. Um, and the concern is just the limited amount of reps that those guys uh, have had in those spots and the, and the pictures that they see. But ultimately, I think it's the best for us long term. Who do you feel like are going to be the starters um, this Saturday? You know, we're going to go through today and, and, uh, and, and evaluate that yet. Um, you're going to see some familiar faces in there. Thank you. Kels? Uh, where does trying to slow down this Oklahoma offense rank in terms of challenges you've faced before? I think I saw some stat or somebody told me a stat the other day. They'd scored 28 points and some, I don't know, I mean, know the number, 52 straight games or something like that. I mean, it's a challenge for everybody. And I think that the way that we're approaching it, it doesn't matter who we're playing or what we're playing against or, or whom uh, they have on their side of the ball. It's, it's about our execution and it's about our – uh, fundamentals. And if we can apply our rules and principles and play fundamental football, I think we're going to stack up well against anybody. We saw you uh, substitute, rotate guys in and out pretty regularly during the Arkansas State game. Is that uh, what you want to do moving forward? Philosophically, my, my th thought is um, if you're good enough to play, we're going to play you. And in fact, in my opinion, I think we probably played a couple of guys too many snaps uh, against Arkansas State. You know, we'd like to be able to rotate guys that have earned the opportunity to play. Uh, I thought there was a number of guys that did that, and that's why you're going to see so many bodies out there. Brian Black. Joe, uh, after we heard so much about Khalid, really, I guess, since preseason camp started, how disappointing was that for him not to play game one? And, and do you feel uh, it's made him even more determined that when he does hit the field that he wants to prove all of this kind of talk about him was, was worthy of the hype? I do think he has a chip on his shoulder, yeah. And I, I know it was frustrating to watch last Saturday for him, um, you know, especially because he would have been a, uh, a big contributor to, to that type of a ball game. But he is, uh, you know, he'll be ready to roll when he gets his chance. And then for you personally, when you look back on the first game, how do you feel like everything went in terms of that being the first time in a while that you were the guy making all the defensive calls? Yeah, I mean, frustrating in that um, – you know, the entire, you know, in, in hindsight is twenty twenty, so it's easy to say, but I, I got to do a better job of getting these guys in position to make plays. Um, I, I, and I won't even say that. I got to get guys in, in better position where they're able to execute their jobs. You know, if there is some type of uh, gray area that exists uh, with anything, that's my fault. And, I, I, you know, my job is to get these guys to play fast and get – these guys in competitive situations. And if I do that, then the game is in their hands. And that's where we want it. Derek. Yeah, Coach, I, I asked Coach Messingham, but I'll ask you the same thing. What kind of bothered you the most about the uh, performance against Arkansas State? Just that we didn't play to our potential. Uh, we're better than what we showed. Um, you know, it, it was kind of a you know, odd situation leading up to the game. I mean, right up in, even uh, into Friday, it still felt like the game was, um, you know, weeks away. And I don't know. I, I can't – I don't know that I've – I won't say the guys weren't ready to play. They were very ready and eager to play. It just uh, – it just the urgency wasn't there. And I think that's probably the thing that bothered me the most is that even, even as the tide started to turn a little bit, I just still didn't feel like we had that urgency to go out there and, okay, we're going to – we're going to start to play our type of ball right now. We're going to finish this thing the correct way. And it starts, as Coach Kleiman addressed with us, it starts with us as coaches. And we've got to do a better job of, of establishing that in this program. First time that Justin Hughes played in quite a while. What was your assessment in terms of how healthy he looked and how fast he was playing? I thought Justin played well. I thought Justin took a lot of pride, as he always does, in his, in his responsibility and his run fits. Um, didn't notice not once uh, his um, injury. Uh, in fact, he made a, an open field tackle in, in one situation that uh, he and the ball carrier were about the only people within 20 yards of each other. And uh, that was a big play at the time. Um, I think he's, he's, uh, he's back. Adam? 
coach on Tuesday, Justin Huge, said they had team meetings after the Arkansas State loss, and they were bringing in a new kind of energy into practices this week. Justin, in what ways have you seen that new energy this week? Well, as I mentioned before, I, I thought one of the things that maybe lacked was the urgency. And uh, that's something that Coach Kleiman preaches until he's blue in the face. And uh, at the end of the day, as Coach says with his philosophy, it's the player's program. And coaches can yell and scream and stomp. But at the end of the day, it has to be the players that are policing that more so than us. And I think that the players finally realize that. And I've, I've seen signs of that throughout the last two weeks. Uh, certainly, um, as we get closer and closer to game week, you can, you can kind of sense that tenseness within the players uh, that they're, they have to earn victory. And I think they understand that. You earn that through your preparation, through your work, uh, through your body of work leading up to game day. And, and I, I don't know that they all felt that way against Arkansas State. And again, I won't say that they weren't prepared, didn't work hard, they did. But it's just been at a new level this week. And I'm, I'm excited to see how it unfolds. Kels? Who was somebody that really impressed you uh, in the opener? I think coming off of uh, just the unknown would be Will Jones. Um, you know, made a number of plays. I had a big interception, had a, had a, uh, a forced fumble, had a couple of PBUs, and, and uh, played a number of snaps. I mean, played more snaps probably than I anticipated him playing and, uh, and did really well. I know there's, you know, I'm sure there's a player or two that he wishes that he had back. But I think he answered the bell as a guy that, uh, that we can count on moving forward. Another guy, a uh, couple of guys that come to my mind are, are uh, Drew Wiley and Eli, and Eli Huggins. Um, you know, just doing some things up front that were, that were uh, supernatural. I mean, we were able to steal some gaps with those guys at times. Uh, you know, those guys as a tandem is something that people better get used to seeing because, uh, you know, the, the bad boys in there, they're going to they're gonna take care of their business. And they, they, they really did. And they take pride in, in their role. You know, they're down in 10, probably not going to see those guys. Uh, but, you know, in base downs, when we need to stop the run, get after some play action pass and step on the quarterback's toes, those guys are going to be a big factor all year long. And Chris mentioned this this week, but uh, how hard is it to get, you know, a, a backup, even a third string guy, to just go right into a game and play like a starter? <laughs> um, you, you, you know, especially a guy that hasn't played much. I mean, sometimes you have some backups that have some game reps under their belt. There's no substitute for game reps. And uh, there's no substitute for game reps in the position that you're playing. I mean, sometimes, uh, especially this year, you're going to have to deal with guys that might be playing multiple positions. Um, it's just the, the way that it is. I mean, we, we might find out some information today or Friday that uh, we'll have to make some last minute shifts into some of those, uh, into some of those awkward type of uh, exchanges. But we'll, we'll um, yeah, it's, it's difficult. Uh, but that's kind of the hand that we're dealt.